StadiumDB.com presents Bundesliga Stadiums of the 2023-24 season Hello friends! Another season of league competition is behind us. We already know all the results as well as who will play in the German top tier next season. On this occasion, the editorial team at StadiumDB.com has prepared for you a presentation of all the arenas where the German elite will play in the coming season. So, without further ado, here's an overview of the Bundesliga stadiums, which we've ranked according to the places their host occupied in the league at the end of the previous season. And we'll start with the venues of the newcomers. 18th place, Maekstadion am Bullenfalltor. Capacity 17,810. SV Darmstadt 98. The stadium of the first newcomer is under redevelopment from 2018. Reconstruction of the old Bullenfalter was forced by the inability to build a new stadium elsewhere and was carried out in three phases, retaining the two provisional covered end zones. First works at the stadium saw the old East Terrace raised to the ground and then replaced by a brand new concrete stand. The structure offers only standing room in its lower half, followed by seats in the upper sections. After that the old main stand was demolished and a new one was built from scratch. All types of work on the stadium should be completed before the start of the season. 17th place Voigt Arena Capacity 15,000 Ester FC Heidenheim First stadium in this location in southern Heidenheim was built by the city back in 1971. Abstadion had no stands at that point, but the first one arrived along the south edge of the field just a year later. This is the form in which the stadium remained until the new century. Situated 555 meters above sea level, second highest in Germany, the ground began changing in 2009. The south side was extended to the entire field length, while three independent stands were added on remaining sides. Further alterations were made in 2013-2015, when the team's promotion to second league forced the capacity to increase to 15,000, and it was a requirement. Adding to that, the whole stadium was covered with solar panels. 16th place Mercedes-Benz Arena Capacity 60,030 VfB Stuttgart Previously, the stadium had an athletic truck, but after the 2006 World Cup, the city decided to convert the facility into a football-specific venue. The roof of the arena completely covers the side stands and most of the rear stands. The structure of the canopy is one of the first to combine steel cables and a membrane instead of much heavier traditional materials. Mercedes-Benz Arena is currently being modernized ahead of the Euro 2024 and only 47,500 spectators can currently enter the arena. At the beginning of the season, the seats of the main stand's lower tier are to be opened and the capacity will slowly be increasing again. The overall commissioning of the new stand is planned for the start of the second half of 2023-2024. 15th place VVK Arena Capacity 30,660 FC Augsburg The stadium's complex structure is made out of a combination of aluminium and light tubes, which are interwoven with each other. That's supposed to symbolize wrapping up the opponent. The capacity of the stadium can be increased up to 49,000 in the future. The playing field of this compact and energy-saving venue is situated 8 meters lower than the street level. Roof structure is made of round-shaped supports and lattice girders. Vivica Arena is the first carbon-neutral football stadium in the world. 14th place Vonovia Ruhrstadion 
Capacity 27,599 VfL Bochum The characteristic crescent girders on the outer facade, combined with four steeply rising lighting masts, give the stadium a unique brutalist-like profile. In 2003, the VfL Stadion Center was opened. The building has five stories and accommodates backup facilities, locker rooms, medical center and a fan shop. David Bowie himself performed at the stadium in 1983 as part of a tour to promote the album Let's Dance. 13th place Von Invest Weser Stadion Capacity 42,100 SV Werder Bremen Located on the banks of Weser River, the venue has a unique exterior. Not only the roof but also the entire facade is covered with photovoltaic panels. Throughout its history, Weser Stadion underwent many renovations. At the beginning of the 21st century, the running track was removed and the pitch got lowered so that fans could be located closer to the action. During the last complex revamp, two stands behind the goals were rebuilt. This gave the arena a rectangular shape of a proper football ground. 12th place, Prisiro Arena, capacity 30,150, TSG 1899 Hoffenheim. Initially planned to be built in Heidelberg or Eppelheim, the construction got blocked in both locations. Third and the final site was Sinsheim. The works were financed by millionaire Dietmar Hopp. Almost 10,000 seats out of the total capacity of the arena are located on terraces of the southern stand and away section. If needed, additional seats can be installed for international matches, reducing capacity slightly to 25,641 seats. Interestingly enough, the village of Hoffenheim has a population ten times smaller than the capacity of Prisiro Arena. 11th place, Rheinenergie Stadion. Capacity 50,000. Erste FC Köln. The last major redevelopment of the arena took place in order to adapt the stadium for the 2006 World Cup standards. After eight years, the athletics track around the pitch was removed and the stands were built closer to the playing field. The stadium is a modern structure made of concrete, steel and glass, surrounded by well-maintained greenery. Its most recognizable features are the four giant corner towers that anchor the roof and the stands with a series of steel girders and cables running along. When the home team scores, the towers are illuminated in red and white, which are colors of the club from North Rhine-Westphalia. 10th place, Borussia Park. Capacity 54,042. Borussia Mönchengladbach. The design here is very simple, resembling some British stadiums with its cantilever roof and overall layout. In contrast to other venues, the space under the stands doesn't accommodate any facilities. Everyday Bundesliga capacity is over 54,000 spectators, with almost 19,000 seats located on standing sections, most in the northern part. However, the stadium has been approved for accommodating up to 60,000 people, should the club decide to convert the south stand into terraces as well. Remember to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button. We'd also appreciate it if you like this video and leave a comment below. 9th place, Meva Arena. Capacity 33,305. Erste FSV Mainz 05. The facility consists of four independent stands connected solely by glazing in the roof and facades as well as walkway around the auditorium. Single-tier stands accommodate over 33,000 people, 
40,000 of which are located on terraces. They can be reconfigured into seating space for international games. In terms of aesthetics, the most important features are massive red frames that enclose each stand from the outside. They are illuminated at night, giving the stadium a distinctive look. 8th place Volkswagen Arena Capacity 30,000 VfL Wolfsburg The most distinctive feature of the stadium is the roof made of light membrane. The rectangular shape of the canopy not only covers the stands, but it also extends well over corners of the venue. It encompasses the elliptic shape of the stadium, giving the whole structure a sleek look. Inside it, there are 30,000 seats on two tier stands. Around 8,000 of them are terraces designated for local die-hard supporters and visiting fans. The cost of building the stadium was shared equally between Volkswagen and the municipality of Wolfsburg. 7th place Deutsche Bank Park Capacity 60,000 Eintracht Frankfurt The stadium is most famous for its impressively looking retractable roof. Its light membrane lies on steel ropes which are also the base of the retractable part. The canopy covers two tiered stands. According to the designers, the roof was modeled on the rim and spokes of a bicycle wheel. Deutsche Bank Park resembles two other venues, Pegje e Narodowe in Warsaw and Arena Nazionale in Bucharest. Before the start of the season, the redevelopment of the stand behind the northwest goal which seats Eintracht's most die-hard supporters, will be completed. The upper tier of this stand was extended with additional rows in the lower section. At the expense of removing the boxes and balconies located between the upper and lower tiers of the auditorium. Sixth place, Bay Arena, capacity 30,210. Bayer 04 Leverkusen. Originally known as Ulrich Haberland Stadium, after the former chairman of the pharmaceutical company, the ground underwent a major revamp at the beginning of the 21st century when a small second tier was built above the existing stands. This procedure created a space for a new infrastructure. There was also a huge, impressive oval roof constructed above the entire structure. The arena was meant to look like a giant aspirin pill from above. However, the idea to install a massive Bayernian sign on the façade was dropped. Interestingly, the business section was built in an unusual setting, in a place usually occupied by the diehards behind the goal far from having the best view on the pitch. 5th place Europa Park Stadion Capacity 34,700 SC Freiburg Europa Park Stadion is a real eye-catcher from the outside thanks to its diagonal tension beams of the roof. Inside it impresses with compact form and steep stands that are close to the playing field. The South Single Tier Stand is the visual and emotional heart of the venue. It's distinctive because the rest of the stadium consists of two tier structures. The aforementioned stand is the designated area for the club's most die-hard fans with 9,000 standing places. There is space for 3,500 visiting supporters at the northeast end. The VIP area, which can accommodate up to 2,000 people, is located in the west stand. Fourth place, Stadion an der Alten Försterei, capacity 22,012, Erste FC Union Berlin. The stadium was revamped thanks to the enormous support of the fans, who not only contributed financially, but also helped with some less complex structural works. In 2009, the terraces on three sides of the venue were renovated. 
Few years later, the new main stand was built from scratch. With over 3,500 seats, it's the only seated section in the stadium and, again, fans showed up and helped to install the seating voluntarily. Union Stadium is a phenomenon in the Bundesliga as it is dominated by terracing. Demand for the tickets is huge and it is virtually impossible to get them on general release. Third place, Red Bull Arena. Capacity 47,069, RB Leipzig. Its most prominent feature is the curved roof supported by light arches spanning along the field. The stands of the stadium have two tiers. The lower one surrounds the whole field and the two upper ones are located only along the sidelines. The facility was built on the spot where the once gigantic Centralstadion with capacity for 100,000 spectators stood. However, the round shape of the previous ground was preserved, together with all buildings dating back to 1956. A promenade surrounding the entire arena is now placed exactly where the top of the former stands was located. Both the inner and the outer side of the old landfill became public green space. Second place, Signal Iduna Park. Capacity 81,365, Borussia Dortmund. Because of the great views it offers, thanks to steep stands and unique fan experience, this stadium is often named among the best football grounds in the world. The structure of the venue accommodates the largest standing terrace in Europe, where 24,454 people can watch the game from behind the goal. Famous for its great atmosphere, Zut Tribune is something truly remarkable during BVB matches. Last redevelopment so far happened before the 2006 World Cup. Construction process of the new sections around the corners encountered some problems caused by the roof structure covering other stands. Eventually, all the issues got solved at the end. Large supports of the canopy that were located in the corners had to be removed in order not to block the view for the fans. Therefore, eight massive pylons were erected on the outside surface of the roof, bearing the weight and allowing the removal of the inner supports. Signal Iduna Park has the highest average attendance for football league matches in Europe. First place, Allianz Arena. Capacity 75,024 FC Bayern Munich The stadium of the current Bundesliga champions is still one of the most modern venues in the world. The facility started the trend of constructing oval stadiums where the facade and roof merge into one form. The most distinctive features of the venue are almost 3,000 ETFE foil air panels that cover the façade and roof of the arena. Thanks to its immense size, the exterior cladding is the largest foil structure in the world. Each of the panels, also known as cushions, may be lightened up in different colors. The stands consist of three levels. Each of them can accommodate roughly the same number of spectators. Until 2017, the local rival, TSV 1860 Munich, also used to play its games here. And that was the final venue in our 2023-24 Bundesliga Stadium Overview. Which one do you like best? Let us know in the comments below and stay tuned as we are already preparing our next stadium-related videos for you. See you next time!